Tourists from 47 countries no longer have the constraint of applying for a visa before leaving their respective countries to visit or transit through Namibian soil. Minister Franz Kapofi said that this initiative will boost the country's economic situation and enhance its diplomatic representation and network across the world. African diplomat, diplomat diplomatic and official passport holders can enter the country without a visa. Following President Hage Gainkop's announcement, citing the value of African unity. One of the fundamental purposes which gave rise to this project is government's commitment to improve, among others, Namibia's competitive ratings. We should therefore be cognizant that this can only be achieved by eliminating bottlenecks in our operations and processes. Furthermore, our ministry will continue to deploy smarter approaches to support tourism and the economic growth while maintaining the integrity and security of our country. The visa on arrival will create a better platform for investors to visit the country and create jobs on Namibians, said Lieka Hangala, Namibian airports company board chairperson. In your hands lie the reputation and the respect of our country. Those tourists that pass here, those business people that pass here, they go and invest in our economy. They hire our cars, they use our petrols, they use our hotels. More often than not, we seem to respect to protect what is there, but not to create. These are small, but very important things that mean to our economy. The launching of the visa on arrival, we hope is not an end in itself. It's a means to an end. It's a means to create excellency in service. All visitors traveling to Namibia for business purposes or to work at subsidiary companies or volunteering work are still required to apply for an employment permit or work visas whether they are citizens of the 47 countries that are currently exempted.